All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a little experimenting with my uh, fishing lures here. Uh, so I want to give you a rundown of exactly what I'm trying to do here. All right. Uh, we were out in the bay. I don't remember when. It was a couple years ago. And, you know, we were vertically jigging, you know, these, these typical type of, of you know, tin metal lures, whatever you want to call them, vertical jigs. And uh, after a day of, you know, just, you know, it was a good day. We caught quite a few fish, but just, you know, bouncing them off the bottom all day, all day, all day, you know, that aggressive jigging you have to do to get these striper out here in the chest peak to, to really, you know, have that reaction strike, you know, it, it just became honestly painful. The, the reason is I had a, uh, a surgery uh, not too long ago, which I think was caused by actually all the casting and fishing, <laughs> but uh, it, it was really painful. So uh, I started thinking, how can I jig the bottom, uh, get those reaction strikes without having to, you know, fish these this, these lures so hard? You know, you just you really gotta. To really put some action into them to really get those strikes and uh, the first thing that came to mind coming from a freshwater background was was a uh, was blade baits you know they, they work really well in the freshwater and in, 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 uh, when the fish are deep you know in the winter and, and in the fall you, you pull these little guys through and they just vibrate so much and I was like man that would that would be the ticket you know all that vibration I might get the same reactions with 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 you know less of me having them to, to, to create the action like you do with these guys uh, but you know this guy was a total fail <laughs> in in a lake in a river you know when you're not moving around as much and and the current's not going you can really get these guys down there but but in tidal water there's no chance there's no shot you're gonna get this thing down i've the deepest i could get it maybe six feet you know and working it super slow so you know that was a fail so i didn't give up on the d the idea you know i just got a bigger one uh and i ended up with this guy you know i found a bigger one he's a lot heavier same problem he he got a little deeper but he just couldn't he could not make it down there so uh one day i was looking around on amazon and i run into these funky looking things uh, they they all had trebles on it by the way when i bought them and uh and this is a blade bait uh that i found in there but it's a lot heavier than any blade bait i really have found and it's got this part i really like it uh in addition with the vibration that kind of flutters around but uh i got these guys and finally i was able to you know vertically jig i don't have to work this as hard as i would have to work that and i am getting kind of the same reaction strikes and also some you know like suspended fish you know it, it's vibrating when i'm reeling it in i, I was getting strikes and catching fish uh, so i, I pretty much thought I had the solution to my problem I would like to make my own and design it a little bit better you know even heavier than this uh, and kind of make it more look like these because I think these vibrate a little better than this guy but it, it vibrates pretty good um, so I, I thought I had the solution and it it, it worked pretty well uh, I'll, sh I'll put a picture of I have one picture of a fish I caught with that and I'll put that right here Okay, after finding a little success with these, I, I kind of got uh, a little greedy and I was like, I'm going to add a tail spinner to it. Maybe I'll, you know, can work it even less. <laughs> I guess that's kind of lazy, but uh, work it not as hard and, and still get reaction strikes. So I added this spinner to it. Uh, and then we went out again on a boat and that's when I had my first downfall with these lures uh, and and the issue was that on a boat I was on a on a crowded boat and I kind of had the front of the boat and this happened twice actually on two different boats and the rest of the people on the boat were using more of the traditional lures and these guys get down so quickly uh, 
that I was not being able to actually get these guys down because they didn't get down fast and you know I was towards the front of the boat and we're drifting and it was taking you know long for these to sink so they were kind of you know floating back rising up if you get what I'm saying and getting right into the lines of the guys behind me that were fishing these and they were getting down there so it, it became evident that 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 was a downfall of these you know it's a little slower and uh, on the boat by yourself or if you have the back of the boat and there's just two of you or whatever then they work all right but if 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 you're on a more crowded boat or you have more people on your boat uh they may not want to fish with these and take that extra time you know because in all honesty these are more efficient they're faster they get down there quicker um so you can they're simpler so there's you know a big plus to that but for me you know i, I want to try to you know avoid having to jig with those all day so I, I was trying to find a different solution but th there's a downfall to this but uh in the process of all this i had also ordered some new you know these type jigs from amazon and um it was these actually and they were you know they were just in a big bundle and they were real cheap so i was like i've always wanted to you know try the stinger hooks uh it, it they're kind of the new thing well new to me i don't know how long they've been around but uh, i wanted to try them so so i bought these and i had them but after the trip I took and I kind of you know got disappointed in these a little bit I started uh thinking and I was like hey look you know the stingers are up here so you know I could put a treble here or I could put a spinner here so that is what I'm going to do now that's kind of my new experiment is uh rather than trying to get a blade bait to make it easier to vertically jig with metal maybe i can get these guys put stinger hooks on them and then have a spinner back here and and uh what do you call it get the same results you know work it less and get the same type of uh reaction strikes so uh that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get one of these uh the profile will end up being bigger with a spinner i'm going to get bigger hooks than this uh bigger stinger hooks and i'm probably gonna get a smaller little bunker and hook that one up with a tail spinner and two stinger hooks and probably one of these uh i really this is the one i really want to do up it's made by clark i just found this randomly one day when i was in a hurry but they're really nice um uh, i like the color and i like that they're fatter you know what i mean i want it even fatter one to get a uh, you know imitate the the bunker in, in the bay but uh you know i got these i haven't fished them much i actually gave one to a buddy of mine the other day and he caught a pretty decent fish i think it was his first uh vertically you know jigged fish um uh, these are kind of light so it wasn't really all the way down it was more suspended and he caught it but it, it was it was still pretty nice fish i'll, I'll show you that now problem with this guy is that it's too light but i went on the site uh and they actually i think this is an ounce and they make an ounce and a half so once i put that tail spinner on it it might not it already takes longer than the other ones to get down so an ounce and a half it might be okay i would rather you know use this one but i'm i'm gonna try it anyway but i don't know that it's gonna be the best i think these heavier ones will probably work best and because I want a wider one than this. I went ahead and I'm going to get one of these little bunkers. Not this two ounce one, but maybe an ounce. I don't know. Maybe this is three ounce. But the size under this, I'm going to get and make it. And um, that is what I'm going to try. And I'll do that now. And I'll let you guys take a look. the little bunker here's the amazon guy and here's the clark uh, i went ahead and did it with the the one i had i'm gonna you know buy one of the bigger ones eventually 
and try it with that but this is the one i really like but i think this is probably the one that if any of them work this will be the one that works i was kind of curious what you guys opinion were uh i've actually fished the jigs with the stinger hooks and this one but with the little stinger hooks these hooks are the ones that came on these uh but um uh, and and they work okay i'm wondering if i just put one stinger hook how much that would affect the hookup ratio i'm thinking not too much you know i catch and release so there's you know no reason to have a ton of hooks or even treble hooks so that's the one thing i'm debating so what is your guys opinion now you can tear me up in the comments and and make fun of all my stuff <laughs> but that's okay because uh I, I really like messing around with lures and experimenting and trying new things i i really will enjoy making something new and catching fish on new stuff as opposed to catching a bunch of fish on the same old stuff it, it that's part of the fun for me so uh let me know in the comments what you think if you think it's a fail if you got any ideas and comments i'll probably ignore them all because <laughs> i'm hard-headed but either way uh it'd be interesting to see and hear from you guys thanks